Hi, we have an integral on the board from the MIT Integration B 2015. This is question number six on the qualifying exam. You have the definite integral from e to one of x ln x squared dx. First, I have a little concern that if we try to do a u substitution for ln x, we don't have an x in the denominator. But then I thought, let's just try this and see how it works out. So we'll set our u equal to ln x. So then just using the definition of the log, we can rewrite this as x equal to e to the u. And then we can take our derivative of x and we'll have dx equals e to the u du. Okay, we'll make our substitution first. Let's update our limits of integration. So if we plug an e into the ln x here, ln of e is just one. So our top boundary is one. And then we'll plug a one in for ln x here. Uh, so the ln of 1 is just 0. So we're, our integral is going to be now from 1 to 0, looking at in u. So then we'll do our substitution for x is going to be e to the u. Um, ln x we set to u, but this is a uh, squared, so u squared. Then our dx is just going to be e to the u du. So then integrating from 1 to 0, we'll have e to the 2u, u squared du. Here, this is set up perfectly for integration by parts um, and a good use of the di method or tabular integration. So setting up our di method, we'll have two columns, one to differentiate d and one to integrate i, and then we're going to have alternating signs. In this case, we're going to need quite a few rows. I don't remember how many. So we're going to differentiate u squared and we're going to integrate e to the 2u. Then the reason I chose to differentiate u squared is you'll see this is going to reduce, right? We differentiate u squared, we get 2u. Then we differentiate that, we get 2. And then we differentiate that and we get 0. And so that'll terminate there because then we won't have an integral because this line is going to be 0. And integrating e to the 2u, we'll just pull out the 2 and put it in the denominator. So we'll have a half e to the 2u. And then doing the same thing, we're going to have a quarter pulling out another half. We'll have a quarter e to the 2u and 1 eighth e to the 2u. So our result will just be these diagonals like this. The last row would be an integral, right? But we have a zero, so it's gonna zero out this whole last piece here and we'll ignore it. And noticing that each term here has an e to the 2u, when I rewrite this, I'm gonna pull that out, I'll just kind of factor it out all in one step. So we'll have e to the 2u in each of these, and then we'll have a half u squared then here we'll have a half u with a minus sign, so we'll have minus a half u. And then this two times an eighth is a quarter, so we'll have plus a quarter. This is gonna all be from one to zero. And then we just need to evaluate these two endpoints. So we'll first we'll plug a one in here. So we're gonna have e to the two times one is squared, so we just have e squared. Um, one squared is just gonna be a half. Half times one is one, so we'll have minus a half, and then just plus a quarter. Then the second term, we're gonna subtract, plugging in our zero. E to the two times zero is just e to the zero, which is one, so we'll just have a one out here. Then we'll plug a zero in for u squared, and we'll have zero. Zero in here is gonna be minus zero, and then we just have our quarter. You notice these halves will cancel here. And then we can write this, our final answer is gonna be, we have a quarter times e squared. Uh, minus, this is just zero, so we'll go that, so we'll just have a minus a quarter. You could factor out a quarter if you want, I don't really care. Um, but that's it, that's our solution. So MIT Integration B 2015, problem number six. Thanks for watching.